I get a lot of questions about track repair, and I think a lot of guys tend to flame that issue to create work for themselves, but I might just take a few seconds to talk about cracks. You can see them right here below that window. There's some cracks in the stucco. And they, they're, they're not great to have. They, they're a cosmetic issue. Um, but you can see where someone's gone in and they don't want to fix them correctly. They want to seal them up. And you can see what that looks like when they do that. It's, it's worse looking than having a crack there. You know? Uh, but the thing you got to remember about cracks, this is what I tell people all the time, is one, cement based stucco systems, we knew they were going to crack. That's why there's a moisture barrier behind them. The engineers, the manufacturers, the people that designed it knew that would happen. There's provisions to manage the water that gets in through cracks. If they get too big, then you got to deal with them. If, if 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 they're wide enough, you can fit a nickel in them, and you, and then it then this UV light can get back there and actually cause uh, the moisture barrier to break down, and then you have water getting in. And more water does get in because of the cracks, but if the moisture barrier is done correctly, you should be all right. But. Uh, this is, would be considered probably random cracking um, and, and it would be considered normal. And they should have let, that's what was going on here and they should have left well enough alone or they should have done it right. And the only way to do it right, you can't put elastic meric paint over it. The cracks will telegraph through. I don't care what those guys tell you about their warranty. It doesn't apply to the cracks not coming back through it. Um, all it does is apply to the paint. And then if you have a warranty issue, they're gonna bring you out a bunch of paint and leave it on your doorstep. But uh, if you wanna fix cracks, you have to mesh the cracks, which really to have a continuous flow here, you'd mesh this wall and recolor it, and you'd do this wall. Then you'd have no break in the stucco finish where you could see that there was uh, an issue with or a, a change in the color and stuff so now these buildings have issue, a few issues um and some of the when you start seeing isolated staining and cracking then you got to be careful but uh, just not saying a crack's a pro problem there are indications you know that a crack is a problem like staining and cracking isolated staining and cracking but you also need to be able to save yourself a lot of money by distinguishing what cracks are okay so just thought i'd put that out there those cracks would have been they haven't done anything to fix the problem right here you know except make it look horrible that sealant will fail it will not stay the cracks will telegraph through that so. They haven't done anything to fix the problem. And short of meshing and skimming and recoating the entire wall, you won't fix the problem. And before you even do that, you wanna, if there is a problem, you wanna fix it. If it's something that's causing the cracks, you wanna fix that problem. If it's just a cosmetic random cracking, then you live with it or you fix it. And it's real typical to get cracks off the corners of windows. So there's a lot of movement there.